Hey guys, welcome back. It's now episode two of how to kill your friends at the front door. I guess this would also be good for anybody else, you know, like salesmen knocking on your door or whichever. So, anyways, this one here, you have a nice front door to your house, and people come strolling up. They're going to break in. They're not supposed to be here. Obviously, they see a button because it's a metal door. Press the button, and, ah, and they burn to death in lava. So, let's go take a look at that again. So, press the button, and the floor opens up and drops them in. Okay, I didn't synchronize these doors, but it doesn't really matter, because all I'm supposed to do is drop them down the hole. In this case, I would suggest making a second um, hidden entrance into your house, and just leave the front looking like this, so that any griefers or whatever that come up and want to steal stuff, they burn to death. So... It's fairly easy to make, but we're going to switch back to creative so I can do this faster. Okay, and I got a bit of it already set up over here for you. So pretty much what we want to do is we're going to have our doors here. So let's get some stuff. Normally I'd have this all set up, but since I was showing you that, I kind of had to kill myself a few times. And, oh, and we need stone. Okay, so basically, let's get rid of that one. We set this up like this. You don't have to have this four, but I just made it four. So you want, since the doors will be here, you got to have this on and powered all the time. So we're going to go sticky piston, sticky piston. Uh, sorry, that's too far back. And we're going to put a block in front of each sticky piston. Okay, so that's what you want it to look like right now. And we can cover some of this up if we want. Um, we can't cover that up. Okay, now what we need is these sticky pistons need to be powered all the time. You can do this with regular pistons, but it's actually quite a bit slower and doesn't work so well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take redstone, and we're just going to go like that, up both sides. Okay, now what we're going to do is we need a redstone torch. Put it there, and we connect the redstone in, and those that side is now turned on. Now we've got to connect this side up too. So what we're going to have to do is go down now. You want to try not to use any repeaters or delays on this. If you do, do it the same on both sides so that the timing's right. Okay, so there you go. Now, we'll put our doors up. And when you put your button on here, and you hit that, it turns the redstone torch off, which opens the hole. And now all you got to do is just cover this back up. And yeah, I'm sure you know, don't put anything over top of your redstone or you'll break it. So that's why I had it all sort of fancy out front. And make it look like there's nothing there. So there you go, not too hard. And when anybody comes walking up, they press it and they fall down into the hole. So see, pretty simple. I'll show you that again really quick. Remember, you got the sticky pistons, which are activated full time. On the block that you have the button, you put your redstone torch here. And then just connect them together, connect all the wiring together so that it's all simultaneous. And that's how you drop your friends into a pit of lava or whatever you want and kill them. 
I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, click like and subscribe, and I will keep making more. If you have any special requests, just put in it in the comments or send me a private message, and I will see what I can do. Take care, and have a great day.